What's up, you guys? Dr. Jeff. So we're going to open up this weekend after the pandemic. And it's pandemic still happening, but Costa Rica is open. So we got our first week back. I'm totally stoked. Super excited to uh, get this cracking again. Get all you guys down here going through the program, getting healed. Our numbers are really good. You know, we have a great statistics on, on our outcome results. We're excited to have you guys back down here. So we're getting ready to open November 1st. Actually, the 31st is the first day of check-ins. This Now, now uh, you guys, some of you that are kind of on the fence that are wondering about, like, okay, I don't want to travel right now. And, you know, what's it going to be like in Costa Rica? Is it with the pandemic and the coronavirus and there are things, you know, Am I going to get sick? All this kind of stuff, right? Well, we are following the Ministry of Health of Costa Rica's guidelines. And those are uh, kind of standard stuff that most places have that, that see guests, whether that's resorts or hotels, uh, you know, places of business that serve the public. So we're following all the protocols that the Ministry of Health requires. And we also have instituted our own um, checks and balances and also testing measures that we're going to be doing here to make it even safer for you guys because what we know works in addition to our program and the plant medicine and the all the modalities that we have well another important thing that works is the interaction that you have with the other guests and with the staff now our staff are getting tested regularly and they're going to be uh, safe as well on the property and you know uh, the interaction, like I was saying, that you guys have with each other is really important. The way you communicate and help each other and support each other and you guys become like a, you know, a really tight-knit group. Every week we see this and it's a really nice thing because, you know, people come from all over the world to come to Rhythmia and you meet people from, you know, they're totally different than you and have a totally different cultural background oftentimes and it's just like really, really cool. It's an amazing thing. So I really love like the diversity that we have at Rhythmy of all the different people. And we don't want you guys to lose that sort of interaction that you have with the guests, with each other. So we're going to be instituting all kinds of checks and things for you guys health-wise and make sure everybody's safe, everybody's able to lower their guard on the property and just like engage and interact and have like a really safe, safe time here at Rhythmia. So we're really excited about that. And, you know, the... The, the reason I always talk about safety um, for plant medicine and things is because you need to feel safe in order to go deep and to heal your trauma. Uh, a lot of people are afraid of their trauma, which makes sense. It's absolutely okay to be afraid of the trauma that you've, you've gone through. Um, if it was from childhood, you feel that uh, as an adult now that it might, you might relive some things. And you may, you may have some memories or some sort of scary vibes, but it's not going to be something you can't handle. And so oftentimes I talk about safety related to emotion and kind of psychological stuff and releasing of trauma and all that. But this time I'm talking mostly about uh, health safety and physical safety and not being sick on the property and how to have how to feel comfortable and confident that we're doing everything it takes to make this place, you know, a place where you can it's like an oasis. And we want to emulate as much as possible the experience that people were having at Rhythmia pre-COVID, pre that. So that was, you know, lots of interaction, lots of really cool talks and people are cruising around and they're they're going to ceremony, you know, plant medicine, they're jumping in the pool, they're getting all the body work they need and they're eating together and all that. We want to, we're trying to replicate that as much as possible here so you guys can still have that sort of supportive group and that supportive network that that you build while you're here at Rhythmia. Um, So we're really, really excited to have this start again um, in a matter of days. This coming Saturday, we're going to have everybody show up that's booked, and we got a lot of great people coming, so we're really excited. And if you have questions about the exact sort of protocols that we're going to be doing, just, just call our 800 number, go to our website, it's, it's listed there, and you can talk to one of our representatives that can give you the, the update on like how that's going to go down. So my message tonight was just to let you guys know that we're taking all the necessary precautions from the Ministry of Health the Costa Rican government that they're requiring, which is very similar to what uh, the United States is requiring and also Canada and Europe and other parts of the world, very similar sort of stuff that they require. And we're going above and beyond that with extra checks and extra health screens and other things that we're going to be doing on the property here with you guys to make sure that you feel safe and that we know how you're doing and the symptoms you might have or not have, and then we can manage your your own health and, and success at Rhythmia. So we're excited to have you guys get down here. 
call up our number. Let's get this thing booked and let's get this this 2021 as it comes up here cracking and get things blasting in a positive manner for you to get your healing and get past all the things that are driving you up up a creek and up a, up a river and up a tree <laughs> to get you feeling good and getting you resolved. Thanks for watching. See you guys next week. Pura Vida.